Brother Liviu Ola was a real Christian, a man dedicated to God and full of the Holy Spirit that never made compromises with sin. He lived a clean life like the Word of God requires. I recall how his prayers were full of fire and he truly believed what he was saying so that many came to the prayer meetings, even before 9 o'clock, sometimes at 8 or even at 7 in the morning to pray and to have more time set aside for prayer. Being a Christian didn't mean a whole lot in those days. In the Second Baptist Church, in the city, as well as in other churches, I became acquainted with churchgoers that went to church, prayed, and sang in the choir. Upon leaving the church, they would go to bars, drink a beer, and go to other places. Many worked in industrial factories. The country folk worked for collective organizations, and they would steal certain things. And there wasn't really a huge difference between the Christians and the non-Christians. The church went through a period of revival when Brother Liviu Ola was the pastor. Sunday afternoons, he would preach for 15 minutes. But the message was so charged that it felt as if he were preaching with a machine gun over the church. We all fell to the ground and wept. When Brother Liviu entered the church, we were all crying, tears streaming. We couldn't hold back the tears because even his mere presence inspired a godly power. I recall the third baptism of 1974. I believe it to be the most spiritually charged day I've ever lived through. In 
And at that precise moment, I felt as if a floodlight flashed over the church. And at that moment, I saw myself personally, saw myself as a sinful soul, a soul that needed to to call out to God for forgiveness. Throughout the church, a call for forgiveness ensued. We felt sinful. We felt we needed forgiveness from God. I felt a conviction that I've never experienced before.